that a fridge? Yes. Oh my god, look at this, yeah. It's breaking all over the place. Now this boat is super close to us. Oh my god, did we just hit? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Ay, fuck. We are Georgia and Diego. And this is our home, Unforgettable. For the past five years, we've been sailing the planet. Our challenge now is to continue the adventure as our family grows. When we were young, Subscribe we and join our life at sea. You probably already heard about the massive waves that break in Tiahopo in Tahiti. For the surfers, it's the moment they have been waiting all year. For the cruisers and sailboat, not so much. In order to form these huge waves, there is the need to be some perfect weather conditions, and the main factor is big southwest swell. Tiahupu is situated in the same coast of most anchorages in the island, so the same wave that brings joy to the surfers brings havoc to the boating community. These extreme conditions don't happen so often, but when they do, they do this. Oh my god, look at this, yeah! It's breaking all over the place! Is that a fridge? Yes, a floating fridge. This is insane! There's so many things floating on the water, watch out! Watch out! Lots of logs! Then people ask us why we love Morea. That's the answer. Morea, we would be, might be blowing the wind, but no swell, no rolling, nice sleep. Ah, look at this. Looks like we are sailing. So annoying. Now this boat is super close to us. I know. <sighs> That's what we can do. Listen to your music. As if the rolling is not bad enough, you have to stand me playing this <laughs> without the proper knowledge or skills. Well, it's okay. Better than to stay inside the boat. Yeah, no, it's no way, no way. Maybe we can make our beds outside and just uh, yeah, <laughs> sleep here, live here, just like we're sailing. <laughs> It's 7.30 p.m. and I'm already going to bed, but there's nothing better to do in this rolly, rolly, rolly night. Best thing is to lay down and try to sleep and see if tomorrow it's a better day. Well guys, as you know, we were planning to go to South Tahiti to watch the World Surf Championship and we were very excited for that, great waves in Tiahupo but unfortunately it was cancelled due to Covid I know everybody's tired to hear about Covid but the cases here in French Polynesia have been rising a lot and very fast in the last weeks 
So there are rumors of a possible lockdown in the coming days. Then we are thinking, we don't know yet if we go or not to South Tahiti because there's not, not much, there's no point to go there if everything is closed. So yeah, we don't know yet what to do. We would like to know guys as soon as we know. Ay, ay, ay. This has been a couple of a very eventful days. Yesterday I ended up engaging full reverse just to get away from the boat, uh, shuffle my anchor chain and uh, maybe reset my anchor a bit further uh, away from that boat. And it worked. I also picked up a few meters from my chain. And uh, yeah, I haven't been that close to the boat. Uh, the whole night was fine. I was a bit uh, concerned throughout the night. I was checking every two, three hours, but all good. And yeah, I hope we can have some peace on the remaining of this week. I'm done, Georgia. I'm done with this anchorage. I want to move. Yes, these guys yesterday night. Yesterday night, I was I was a little worried because they got very close to yeah, our boat. Less than a meter away. Don't know if you can see, guys. There, very very close. What the hell? Now every day there's a boat dragging towards our boat. <laughs> I'm tired of this anchorage, really. Another boat arrived today and they anchored close to our boat and now there's a squall and they just got really, really, really close to us. They were sleeping, we had to scream and try to wake them up to move the boat. Ah, it's always a thrill, I just want to rest in peace. The bad luck comes in three. And the, all the lights were off, they were not on the cockpit and we wanted to shout them. So we were like, what should we do? Should we scream? Should we throw something on their boat? What should we throw? And then I came up with like limes, just a bag of limes. Let's throw some limes because Isla was sleeping. We didn't want to scream. But then the Diego just, he just shouts, not very loud. But uh, the guys came out and like, oh my God, oh, and they, they put some chain, more chain on the water, but they are still very close. Look at this. They are still quite close to us. The thing is that yesterday the wind was blowing from here, so they put more chain and today the wind uh, shifted, so they are even closer to us. So I am thinking about putting more chain out just to be a bit further from them. There is not a peaceful day at this anchorage. No. No, Isla. What do you think, Isla? Should we move? Move. More, I agree. More is much nicer. Okay. okay. It's not possible, really, it's not possible. There might be something wrong. It might be a curse. Now we are squeezed between two boats. You have to see, there is a catamaran really close to us. That's crazy, I, I cannot believe it. I saw they arriving this morning and I thought, okay, here we go. That's Where insane, I cannot believe. Oh my god, did we just hit? Yeah, finally it happened. Ah, well. Again, they are not on the boat. I expected they would move this boat today, but not. Look at this. At least it, it, there is no wind, it was very light, but. Yeah, it's just up. Can you see anything? Just a tiny scratch. No big deal, but uh, yeah, just uh, a bit of a scratch. <sighs> Again? Yeah. Oh, fuck! Fenders? No, the fenders are in place. Sorry, neighbors, but the second time you hit us, you know you're not in the right place. Choice to never leave this behind. It's feeling 
I don't like to go into other people's boat, but this was an emergency. That was a funny night, wasn't it? That was funny indeed, yeah. So I saw the guys coming and we, we knew that they would come uh, kind of drunk. Both are touching. Touch? Yeah, twice. Yeah. And then I jumped into a boat and I just uh, made a bit more change. So I wasn't touching more, but uh, super tight. And after they started moving their boat, they nearly touched us. We had the fenders ready, just like they were, I don't know, half a meter away from touching our boat and finally they decided to anchor somewhere else but not without some fight between them I guess you know it was just like 10 p.m. they were drunk and stressed trying to find a new spot in the dark so not uh, long after they raised the anchor they were fighting between them I don't know what's going on there uh, the, the guys the neighbors they just arrived and they're cool guys huh but they came really drunk <laughs> And you know they're pushing this to the limit, and now they're just, like super drunk trying to maneuver the boat. And we are being super chill, but uh, man, I'm tired. Yeah, they hit yeah, our yeah, boat yeah. Twi yeah. twice already. Like, we are please. Very cool, but uh, if you want to get drunk, make sure your boat is safe. But they did good. They re-anchored in a comfortable distance from us. I hope they stay there, and they are probably now in a very heavy hangover. <laughs> is it recording? Is it recording? Is it ready? Is it ready? Uh, yeah, recording, okay. <laughs> well guys, it's time for some to answer some questions of yours and to start today I have a question from Lars Christian. He asks, if are we free to pick coconuts, fruit and plants? It will depend on where, maybe, but uh, nevertheless can you comment on this? Well, here in French Polynesia, basically everywhere we can uh, grab fruit from the place where we find it. They are very open-minded about it, but yeah, like coconuts and mangoes, mainly in the Marquesas archipelago. We were surprised how like they share it with everybody. It was really cool. We walk on the street and you can grab it. But uh, yeah, we, of course, we never get it from a private residence or yes. things like that. Yeah. <laughs> but if it's on the street, it's okay. There are lots of coconut trees here. So if you find a coconut tree and you can grab it, the coconuts, yeah. you can get them. Especially if you further in a hike or something, uh, then you can grab bananas, you find papaya, special fruit. In the Caribbean, was not so. there no. was not so many fruit, I think. No. Yeah. In Brazil, depends where you are. I, I would be careful. <laughs> Second question is from Luis and he asked us to give an overall view on how is to do a surf trip on a sailboat, how is the boat for uh, surf purposes and I think this is varies a lot but in general it's a big possibility not always you can be anchored really close to the spot most of the times you are a dinghy ride away or maybe a car ride away Sometimes you can get an uh, anchor really close to the spot, but uh, these anchorages are not the greatest, they're, they're not the best, they can be rolly. But I think it's a great way to travel, to seek for waves, because once you are in this place, you can stay, 
you can wait for a swell you don't you're not in a rush you're not paying hotel so I think it's very nice you just have to be patient you have to time your trip well because surfing can be very seasonal and other question from Edward Grant he asked us if you had any problem with mooring buoys here in French Polynesia like some other cruisers had it became really famous uh, case of a boat that was they picked up a mooring buoy in Bora Bora and this mooring buoy broke and this really nice catamaran ended up in a bungalow destroying the bungalow and the boat not destroying the boat but damaging the boat we never had this sort of problems the only place that we you constantly pay for mooring buoys is Bora Bora but they are just like now improving their, their game so hopefully this will not happen but that's the case for mooring buoy all over the place if you don't know who maintain just to take your time to dive and check because sometimes you, you trust too much on that thing and yeah. perhaps it would be better to be on your own anchor. Thanks for leaving your question guys. If you have more questions about sailing, cruising, about unforgettable sailing or whatever you want to know, you can drop here in the comment section of the video and we will answer in the following videos. And well, thanks so much for watching. You know what to do guys. Give a thumbs up to this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe to our channel if you are new here and see you next, next Thursday. Thursday. Bye bye.